Good evening. Welcome to Facebook Live. <laughs> so um, thanks for to those guys who uh, and ladies who have come over from um, uh, Instagram. That's really good. Really cool. Um, I'm going to put my glasses on now because I've got to be able to read these comments. Okay, Ronnie Owens with us. That's great. Um, I need the support. And salam uh, alaikum to everybody. Nice see you all turn up. Um, how are we going to start? Oh, nice to get my guitar in tune first. <coughs> and also, let me see where I can find this video so I can watch it. I salt art. I'm going to adjust this video slightly, if you don't mind. Drop it down a little bit. That's better. Watch video. Let's salt art. Let's get the right one. find your comments. Here we go. I need to log on. <laughs> Hello Farhan, nice to see you bro. start guitars, equipment, where I am. So I, I'm in uh, Manchester in the United Kingdom and um, yes I do wear glasses when I'm reading or when I'm trying to read uh, comments on Facebook at the same time. <laughs> it's really hard without them. But you've got to give in to old age sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, uh, in this little music space, everything happens for me, you know. I just crammed as much equipment as I could. I mean, I can only fit a few guitars in this corner here, so I kind of fit it in the main ones, so to speak. Um, you know, I fit it in my, my electrics. Who knows what that is? It's a jazz master, yes. My acoustics. All the electrics. <laughs> this one I'm using is an acoustic. <coughs> I hope you can hear that okay. Yes, Mr. Fletcher.
songs that made me think about chords you know learning chords I didn't just want to learn you know we always learn on the guitar we learn D and C and G and F and, you know those chords which are great you know so many songs are written with those chords aren't they like um, <laughs> and you must know that one play stuff like that but uh, pianists always have these chords really funky kind of oh, all kind of movements and I just love learning those kind of things or even like uh, I mean those chords are from Life on Mars you know they're quite complicated and I just learn them by working them out listening to the record yes wait Mr. Ahmed and uh, you know I generally work songs out like that. I learn to play guitar in that way, you know. Uh, it's a funny story why I started playing the guitar because, you know, it's uh, only when I heard the guitar when I was I was seven years seven years old, yeah, and um, and I saw my school teacher sat and I yeah I heard my school teacher playing this silver stringed instrument. I was like, wow, yeah. <laughs> what is this instrument? Ah, and I just wanted one for my birthday. I got one for my seventh, eighth birthday. And I've been playing guitar ever since. Uh, but learning how to play from music, from records. Um, hello, Arsene. Bye. Bye, John. Good to see you on here, bro. Um, and the first kind of tunes I learned were because I couldn't play any chords. And the first notes I learned were these notes because I heard this record. You can see how simple that was, it was like an open, and then, so I learned the rhythm. Alright Dave, nice to see you mate. It was the rhythm that was uh, the hard part. I mean that's how I started, you know, just learning right rockabilly tunes, um, Elvis and things like that. And, we some things like there. Uh, <laughs> that was a kind of, I mean, I know that was a little bit more than just uh, one note. Yes, Asen. Uh, oh, uh, I'm a legend, am I? Legend. <laughs> yes, Mike. Nice to see you on here, bro. How is Stockport? Hope it's all right. I mean, it's an acoustic guitar, but don't you just love messing with the acoustic and making it sound like something it shouldn't be? <laughs> Thank you. 
so much from that guy uh, and his compositions and his writing he was just like um, although you know we're talking african-americans and their history but it's all the histories are related and i kind of look at the the way that you know an african-american could play rock music and play the funk and the jazz and the soul and army and mix it all together and stand loud and proud above all artists you know what i mean him, Michael Jackson, there's only a few artists who've really done that. Not to, you know, to that level. What a superb, no, I mean, 15, 16 instruments, well. You know, I can play a few instruments, but think about it at that level, to play 15 or 16 instruments, amazing guy, yeah. But it also made me think about identity. When I say identity, I mean ID on guitar. That's what I was thinking about, my own ID. I mean, as we know, you know, how many Pakistani guitarists out there, you know, we learn, you know, we learn the chops from <laughs> Western eyes, so to speak. And then when we think about it, we kind of go, well, actually, there's a lot more to us than meets the eye, you know, there's a... Uh... So many different kinds of reverb, man. Um, I love reverb. I love it. Uh, I'm still trying to. Ah, here we go. So, ah, this is live now. That's exactly what I want. Sorry. 
It's just that I can read the comments over here now. Yes, cheers Dave. I am very well, thanks. I hope you and your family are too. Enough of reverb. I hope the sound's not distorted because my microphone is picking up the sound in the room as well. Um, actually, no, I won't share that bit with you yet because there's a ton of equipment on the floor. Um, there's nowhere for me to move. Um, I've got to stay right here. But um, I will show you. The, the stuff I'm using, if uh, if anyone's interested, of course. But I'll show you anyway. <laughs> Why not? Um, but uh, let me show you the guitars. I mean, everyone's seen me using this pink thing for so long, and this, as you can see by it, is a bit battered and bruised. Look at the top part. I mean, like somebody's been eating it. I mean, that's not me. I think I might have hit somebody and their teeth kind of got lodged in the top bit. Uh, so those marks, done. <laughs> um, anyway, this company is uh, Robert Godin. These are from Canada and I've been using them for like 20 years maybe, longer. I used them throughout all the Ian Brown tours and um, I've used them on all my solo stuff. I use it all the time. Um, yeah, so uh, do you like the sound? Which guitar? Yeah, as I was saying, it's a golden guitar from Canada, but you can buy them anywhere. They ship internationally and they make electrics. And I have a 12 string model over here as well, uh, which is really nice, it's called the A12. I've got another one over here, which, uh, in fact, I'm going to show you this other one. It's my other main one. I've just put my mute on, I'll plug my cable. Put the guitar over there. It's going to end up a right mess in here. I know you want to see that equipment, bro. <laughs> but, um, let's see if we can get this cable to stay. There we go. This is a, an Aziz tuning, by the way. You ask, what is that tuning? to see that gear. So as you can hear, I'm going to turn my microphone down a little bit while I play, but I, just while I'm playing, I can, I'll show you what, why I have this tuning. Helps if I turn the microphone up, doesn't it? <laughs> but his guitar is really good for. Sorry, what are you saying? As a oh setup, I am actually. There's no setup. This is not a setup. <laughs> this is my the front room really, and um, you can't hear me. I know, I know. I've turned the microphone back up. 
Sorry, salt arts. There we go. I hope you can hear me now. One. Yes, I can see the signal on there. So, um, I was saying about this guitar, it's great for making it sound like sitar. show you up with their speed so I started imitating them and doing this I found it works for chords great for that kind of thing. You get really nice chords. I mean, it's in an open tune. That's why this guitar sounds the way it does. But it's my main one for kind of rocking out. Uh, um, I'm going to turn this mic off again and I'll show you. Turn that microphone back up. You see, I remember this time. What is that tuning? Farhan says it's a kind of um, it's a C tune. Well, it's a D tuning. Well, I, I use it in C as well. In D A D A D E and the other one C G C G C D. Um, it's a really nice tuning. Well, I made it up. <laughs> I'm sure other people use it because it's kind of like. great for a, like I said, that sitar impersonation where you kind of want that. Ha, ha, ha. 
to practice some more. That's not right. You can see it's uh, a little bit lower as well sounding. And I do like slapping, just like you know, bass players do. Techniques, whatever, I'll steal them from anywhere. <laughs> Well anyway, that's enough of this guitar, eh? Again, you see, this is a golden, golden guitars. And um, these guitars, just funnily enough, they have synthesizer access. That's kind of like the Roland GK standard, if you know what that is. But you can connect and that's why I use these guitars live, because I was playing, when I was touring, I was using, um, I was playing keyboard parts, playing guitars, as uh, doubling guitars with 12 string sounds and things and splitting the signal on, the, on both my electrics and acoustics and I got into these guitars, you know, very feedback resistant anyway um, over the years, you know, I've stuck with them even though know, people can go, oh, what make is that? Um, they're a very big company uh, and very good at making guitars but that's uh, one of the things I use um, I wonder if I'll give you a little sneak peek. Uh, hello, Nicky. I'll give you a little sneak peek at what I'm using down here. Um, that slap stuff sounds cool when you added the low octave. Yes, very naughty of me adding a low octave. Um, but yeah, when I show you, Hassan and everybody else, um, but let's read a message first from the powers that be. That saying, let's start the gig, best of luck. Oh, I thought it already started. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, you don't mind if I leave the volume on that phone, it's just so I can tell when I'm being told off, I need, I need the little beep. Um, I was going to show you some of my equipment. So, uh, Mr. Fletcher, I would love to do that. Um, tour with Inda, that was such fun. Now, I believe, if I turn this around, oops, I will mess up the screen, that's what it's saying. Uh, oh, there we go, yeah. I forget, it's landscape, not portrait. And, yeah, I'll take these off for now, I don't need them all the time. But, uh, I was going to share with you my uh, equipment. So, let's turn the camera around. It's better that way. So here we go, there's my feet, and I know, y y don't laugh, <laughs> don't laugh, I'm, la I'm the one who's laughing, that's the setup that I've got at my disposal here, and it stretches all the way around here, and down there too, so that's a AMT wah, oops, it's telling me to stop rotating the camera like that. Um, so I'll try keep it straight, but there you go. Um, AMT wire by my right foot, um, and that is a little expression pedal, um, and then a bit of electro harmonics gear. Nearly fell over. Um, attack sustain decay um, C9 organ sounds, uh, Mal9 Mellotron sounds, pitch shifters drop D, uh, whammy. We all know what that does. Uh, distortion settings on my old line 6 um, the Red Panda Tensor which I'll show you where it does that's what I was using mainly that Boss Super Octava I love that Boss sound uh, the line 6 uh, HX effects which I've got multiple things but I use this looper a lot I use that a lot record making loops on the fly and then flicking back to the presets this count to five, which is just, no, don't even make me an offer for it. <laughs> My faithful H9, even tied. This beautiful Meris Polymoon. Uh, my looper of choice by Pigtronics. <gasps> oh, so <what> you <laughs> The Infinity Looper. And that's my reverb, which is an older Sandblox 2 um, by Source Audio. I've got the new one somewhere over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not going through all that gear to find it. It's crazy over there. Um, and then there's the radial Twin City uh, and the delay unit is the old green Line 6 DL4 and a couple of expression pedals which one's connected to the reverb uh, in a parallel mix and the other one is connected to the delay unit and a little four switch preset thing for the Polymoon by Meris beautiful thing that yeah um, that's more or less it and then the sound is coming out of these two things here these are Line 6 Power Cab Pluses they are unbelievable look they've got screens these cabinets have got the, the USB <laughs> they hold impulse responses they're MIDI I can switch patches to you know loading IRs and or flat response um, and then this is my setup going into the uh, uh, into Facebook you know because I'm mixing stuff there and and sending it into this which is my new uh, stream iRig stream uh, which is working out okay at the moment oh, trying to reconnect there we go so that's more or less it uh, so let me turn the camera around and try and get it back into sorry excuse the hand that's it I gotta do that sorry about the crusty hand how's that I put my glasses on because I gotta read these comments um, well, I hope that kind of answered a few questions regarding the gear. Uh, well, kind of, I, I know those questions, but there's a lot of equipment. But you know, I'm having fun. You know, this is what Maza. This is what it's about. So, should I play you a tune? Let's play you a tune before the battery power runs out. I know somebody's going to ask me. No, it was uh, for Anne, it was a OC3. Pick of choice. These are new by Jim Dunlop. Um, yeah, so let's get some sound up again. Play that slap thing again, please, with the Octava, says Hassan. Uh, okay, well, let me just, it's a good question, um, or a request, um, and we'll come to the reverbs in a second for that. But let's, um, pitch shifters, I love pitch shifters, okay? Uh, let me show you what I mean. Right. So, if you want the... Let's start with a boss octave. So, yeah, as Hassan is saying, yeah, that's the sound. Oh, actually, let's switch it to the other one. Hope you can hear that uh, octave. That's the sound of a boss octaver, but this boss octaver, the reason why I use the OC3 is because you can set the threshold of where the octaver is going to come in. So I like it to come in on these strings and not on the chord. And that's why I was playing things like uh, Spiders from Mars, you know, uh, Life on Mars rather, yeah, by Spiders from Mars. Um, so you only get the bass notes with the chords and the, the strings stay clear. There's always kind of uh, lost the signal a little 
little bit there. Uh, so something like, say something funky like... Catch my drift, man. <laughs> uh, hello, Mervyn. Hello. What have I switched on? Yes. Uh, nice to see you. And uh, yeah, so you can see. Sorry, Hassan. That the the bass was on the bass notes, but not on the chord. That's why the LC three. Um, Pran, you're asking me about reverbs, yes. So I'm using, so the green reverb is being parallel mixed, that's how I'm using it. I'm, I'll show you the other reverbs too, but um, let me just go to uh, my app over here, um, which is connected to the H9 even side via Bluetooth. And I can change my presets from here. I'm just going to call it my preset list. Um, so I like the H9 because it has really dark ethereal reverbs. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, so something like this, for instance. <laughs> it's like film score reverb, that's how I look at it. Um, let me show you a different style. There's some killer ones here actually. going all day it's got some very strange uh very 
Nice. Dark Angels. And that's the uh, that's the even side. I mean, even side is the even side. Wow, uh, the company they've been doing it for you know they wrote the book. Um, I'm gonna switch over from that. So this on my old sound blocks things. I'm using it not on and off. Okay, this is hard to explain, but uh, it's parallel mixed in via that expression pedal on one side. So the note dry dries a bone. Now if I want the reverb on any note, I just push down the expression pedal and it will bloom. See what I mean? Great for chords. Probably know this piece, and it's not my piece, but hey, they wrote a great tune, so here we go. Pushing the reverb where I want it. You see what I mean? The reverb just. It just blooms, doesn't it? And I'm almost playing over the top of the reverb. Anyway, a little Aziz trick. But you have to kind of learn to play the reverb at the same time as you learn to play in the solo. <laughs> it's a strange thing. Um, right, let's see if we've been sold off again. Oh, okay. I'm not going to tell you what I said. <laughs> Cheers, man. One day we shall meet, inshallah. Yeah? Uh, let me play a piece of music for you. Uh, so we were talking about the Haughty Longside and the album. Uh, I mean, this is the album for me. This tune. Some somebody, please tell me that they can hear the music because I can't hear it. Here we go. Volume is a little bit low. Thank you. 
I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> it must be strange watching me sat here fooling around and then you're listening to this track at the same time. I should have played it like a DJ or something. Maybe that would have been fun. Yeah, drop the tune and then a few transitions and drops. Yeah, that would be nice. But I will play your tune. Why not? I'm sat here with a guitar. I may as well play you a goddamn tune. Um, so, I'm going to play this tune right here. Okay. Yeah, this, so that tune I, I played you was the theme tune of the album Lords alongside. I had that image, like I said, of a train journey, you know, through India, through the Punjab, across to Lahore, even all the way to Manchester. Uh, so then that whole concept, um, another tune which signified the album for me, oh, right, was um, a tune called Marasi. <laughs> because it's on my dad, you know, my dad's old school, born in the 1920s, 30s, you know, and um, who knows. And he used to always call me that when I played the guitar, he would say, Oh, Buddha Marasi, you again. So I just kind of like, <laughs> I didn't get it until like, I kind of worked out. Um, and, and hello, Raza, too, from me. And, you know, it's, it's strange, you know, that um, you call me this thing, but. I enjoy music so much that I decided to call the tune uh, Marasi just to represent exactly what music is to me and what that word could mean. I, almost like owning the word, so to speak. So uh, I want to play this tune Marasi. Uh, if you like it, here we go. Uh, right, let's get uh, the sound up. There we go.
and I'll say it.
Yes, peeps, uh, thanks for your wonderful comments. I really appreciate that. Um, I was reading that because I've got my glasses on for a change. Um, reading the comments from um, folks on there, just superb, you know, encouraging me to play as if I was playing a, a proper gig in a in a venue of live stadium, or not live stadium, with my kid. <laughs> you know, a real show, instead of this kind of self-policed kind of environment that I'm in. <laughs> it's crap. But, uh, you know, big thanks also to Salt Arts, because, um, I'm going to put these back on because I need to read the comments. Um, swipe to the left, swipe to the left, swipe to the right. Uh, thank you, Farhan. Thanks, Alan. Uh, um, no, a pleasure. It was really nice to share this. Um, just playing here. I mean, this kind of intimate thing. It must be a bit strange. I don't know from your perspective. You're seeing, you know, a guy on his acoustic guitar. Obviously, I've got a few toys on the floor too to make it a little bit more interesting for you. Uh, a little bit more exciting. I mean, it sounds so much better when you play it like this, and, and it comes out, with the, you know, sounding like. Um got any questions you know we might wrap this up but uh, please feel free to ask anything you want within reason of course is there anything I can uh, share with you um, anything even about the well we, I mean, we talk plenty about technical stuff uh, anyone who's said, ask me anything else you know feel free um, otherwise um, you know I don't want to use those. I, really, I watch YouTube all the time. Hey, in the comments below. <laughs> Ask me in the comments below. But uh, I think with the the Arig streaming thing. Well, okay. Um, the Arig streaming thing is basically so that I the sound that you heard, Hassan, uh, as opposed to the microphone of the phone of the iPhone in this case, giving you the audio. The iStream stream is connected to the lightning port on the on the phone, and then the iStream stream has uh, I don't. We'll come to that in a sec, and then I've got a mixer going into the iStream, stream, uh, iRig stream. So the mixer, my microphone, the guitar amps, they're all going DI'd into the mixer, and the mixer's going through the iStream, stream, iRig stream, and giving you this kind of audio, you know, the full on. Uh, experience. Uh, maybe I've got the balances wrong, but this is because it's like the first times I've ever done this. Uh, how old were you when you first learned to play? Uh, I was. I got the guitar at seven, uh, eight years old, my eighth birthday, and um, and never stopped since then. So it's never been about money. It's never been about fame or fortune. It was just pure love of playing. Um, you know. Yeah. I salt that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's just been that. It's just been a, a love of playing. Like now, sat here on my own playing the guitar. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. You know, so the day I die, it'll still be that thing, that therapeutic thing for my mental health, for my well-being. Uh, cheers for that. Um, you know, uh, Ahmed. <laughs> what time you call this, you are? <laughs> Um, so the guitar, you know, the, you know, I've been playing since eight years old. It's always been for my own mental health, and uh, I've explored so many things. I've explored other cultures, you know, looking at, uh, you know, Japanese culture, for instance. Looking at the scales they use. That was terrible. Really. You know what I'm getting at. Exploring instruments, the sounds of them. You know, all those things. Um, 
some guys there are some players out there women men you know just amazing in these different fields but i like to explore them all touch on them all um, but uh, sorry i'm just going to go back to something you said before um i think mr fletcher was asking me um a pipeline any new music yes i have a new tune um coming out on Spotify and all the rest. It'll come out everywhere else, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully I'll have it out by the end of, well, the beginning of April. Hopefully in this month I'll have the tune finished. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to rethink about the video for it. <laughs> well, there is a tune. Uh, it's a very short tune, uh, single, and I'm gonna try and put some that out quite regular. And uh, This all actually started before uh, this I don't even want to say the words, but uh, you know, things started. Um, so yeah, there'll be new music. Definitely, you can count on it. Well, you know what I mean. And even more so now, got the time to do it. Um, my favourite. Yes, Dan was asking my favourite gig. Favourite gig. Um, you know, it's strange. But when I was young, and my first show, well, was I think I was about twelve years old uh, in Longsight playing at the Wagon and Horses, that was one of my favourite gigs. I think I had a, one of these, it wasn't mine, it was a friend's a Fender Stratocaster, uh, 1970s in that case. Um, bigger than me. <laughs> that was one of my favourite. But then the most the kind of mind-blowing was, you know, at 20 odd years old and I joined Simply Red and I'm in a stadium. To play to like 150,000 people in Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, and that's uh, all came from Longside. I'm thinking, oh, wish my mum and dad could see me. <laughs> um, and that was my goal. But then on stage with the Stone Roses was the most strangest scenario to be in. Um, just because of the, I don't know, the. It's something that you can't even put my finger on. It's just an experience that I suppose you'd only get in the coolest band in the world. <laughs> and uh, how do you explain that, sober as a judge, from the inside looking out? Uh, regardless if I was there from the beginning or not, you know, it was the experience of it. I wouldn't, even though, you know, there was a lot of negativity around it, for me, I wouldn't change that experience for anything, you know. Um, friends invited me, you know, new friends. As well as uh, you know, Robbie and Nigel, you know, Ian and Manny invited me to come and play, and what an experience that was! I had different, great shows, you know, rocking out with Asia, and and then, even though it was a bit of a disaster with Stephen Wilson, you know, that leg of the kind of my <coughs> experience, um, it was all fantastic, just the whole journey. Um, but especially playing in Pakistan, you know, I've always wanted to go home and play in Pakistan in a group. And just play guitar, nothing more than that. Um, and I think uh, Farhad Humayn gave me that opportunity with Overload, the shows that I did, so that. And I wouldn't have met Rania and Salt Arts, and I wouldn't have met uh, Hassan and uh, Farhan and uh, Shane and all the other folks, all the peeps that I've met through that journey. But not that it's over yet, you know. Play a little tune. Does anybody know this? Let's put the octave on, shall we? We like that. Yes, um, Nicky was asking me what was what will you be working with Ian again? Never say never, you know. I'm, I won't be on the well. I don't even know if there's even going to be a tour now, but you know. Yes, I said it was one of my favourite tunes. <laughs> uh, but you know, um, I'm not playing with Ian. No, I kind of you know we I've moved on from that 
thing. I'm doing something. This is a new thing. I'm doing a new thing. But, you know, um, it'll be an amazing show. Whatever he does, it will be mind-blowing. Always has been and always will be. Uh, me, I'm just doing new things. Um, but I've never closed the door. Not to my friends. You know, I will always be open. Um, but, you know, hello, John. Um, you know? So, is there anything else I can play for you or answer before we wrap up? How about a bit of reggae? Let's get a bit of that old organ sound back on, I think. Uh, try a bit of that, try a bit of that, shall we? Turn this down in here in this room because it was a bit loud. There we go. Interesting, shall we? Whoops. Right. Bit of trickery down here. Very tricky fellow. to us all. Um, what we need is a, a farewell tune. Let's try this. A farewell tune. There we go. Nope. There we go. Farewell tune for you. I don't know. Uh, did anyone think of putting tunes to Happy Ever After? Uh, Happy Ever After kind of came after. <laughs> so uh, I don't think um, it was a case of, you know, we had even time to do words because it was kind of written from a previous tune, if I remember rightly, you know, so from parts of, so it was supposed to be different, so hence why it had no words. But, uh, <laughs> Yes, that's what we want. 
ones. And I'm using the... No, I'm not. A little ditty for you. There I go again, forgetting to turn the uh, microphone up. Yes, I know, and the sound had gone. But, uh, yeah, I was just saying that uh, I must have bored you with like 15 minutes of uh, playing Marassi. So, I think, I haven't heard anything back from Salt Arts. Okay. Uh, but uh, I think I will sign off now, definitely. Uh, it's been great sharing it. Um, but, you know, it's made me think, you know, the possibilities of how to share music with you. Um, and I'm going to do this again. And it was great to do with Salt Hats. So big, you know, big ups to uh, Rania and all the crew. It's been great watching their channel and the music. Uh, you know, check out the stuff that they've got going on. Uh, the artists they got, uh, Sounds of Galachi, you know, all the projects they have, amazing projects, and they work under the conditions that they do. So, you know, uh, have a look. I mean, for those of you that know, you know me, you already know what I do. Um, but it's always great to check out music for Pakistan. You know, Pakistan is a is a beautiful country with a population of over two hundred and thirty million, probably, and. A lot of musicians, uh, frustrated musicians. I'm one of the fortunate ones in the sense of having the opportunity to play without the restrictions. Um, well, <laughs> that's an understatement, isn't it? the restrictions. Uh, but I'm doing what I'm doing anyway. Uh, but I'm going to. What I do know about Facebook, that this video I can save and I can share uh, after I've finished. So if you did miss out and you weren't here earlier on, um, you know, no problems, just uh, check in again and watch it, yeah. So as Farhan says, you know, big thanks to Salt Arts, big thanks to Rania, uh, all her friends and colleagues who helped put this together and invited me from Manchester, United Kingdom, bloody. <laughs> uh, so, if anybody's hasn't got any other questions and they will let me go, I will go. Um, I'm looking at the bottom of this, yes. Oh, Saltar says one more please. We just had one more. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I think we've, <laughs> we've had one more. And yes, Joan, yes, it's all about sharing, caring, sharing, that's me. <laughs> Ask anybody. But uh, the only thing I'm not sharing is my crisps. But, uh, oh, great playing a tune like that. Oh, could I play you one more tune? Um, I think I could. I'm going to try this tune. I have no idea if this is going to work because I've got to turn up the volume on this. I, um, oh, difficult, difficult. Uh, will I get a feedback loop? I don't know. I know what to do. I've got it sussed. Right. Quit this app. Go to this app. I'm going to share a tune with you. This uh, I'll play this tune and I'll interrupt you. This is a tune that I did for um, um, so I did this orchestral show. I wrote a symphony which was called the Hearts Along Set as well, or was it the other way around? Um, and I wrote a piece of music about partition. Um, one of the saddest, most traumatic events I think of all time that has worldwide repercussions. Um, but I wrote a piece anyway, which was supposed to have been uplifting. I hoped it was uplifting. I uh, was trying to express something in a different way. Uh, it was with a dancer, actually. So uh, I want to play this tune. I'll play this tune for you. Give me that. <coughs> I'll try it out. I've not done this before like this. But uh, I need to turn the volume up on the truck. Here we go. Um... We have the guitar, that's great. Um, I need a little bit of a delay. That'll do. Anyway, this tune, which I'm going to say goodbye on, this is called the Exodesi Waltz. Um, before I start, I may be told. <laughs> Will you play the national anthem? Stop it. That seems an amazing Whatever you Yeah, I will do. Um, no. I, I, I would like to, but let me save the... Sorry, Rania. Let me save the national anthem for uh, another time, because I'd like to do it justice. I'd hate to do it and mess up on it, because to some it is so precious, and uh, I'd like to do an interpretation of it of my own. Uh, a respectful one as well, you know. I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, or do I? <laughs> but anyway, no, let me do, uh, I'll do this piece to finish with. Anyway, it's called the Exodusy Waltz. Um, like I said, it's a partition tune, uh, but it's also a dance tune. Um, and it, well, I'm building towards getting this finished as a single and a video and a theatre show, even. Theatre, yes. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Technical problems. Um, mm, if I do it that way, I won't hear it. Uh, that's strange. I'm going to give this one more shot. And if it doesn't work, we're going to move on swiftly. Because it's highly embarrassing. There you go.
remembering to turn the microphone up this time. <laughs> um, so, I hope you liked what you heard, as they say. No? Um, I hope you enjoyed uh, you know, the music and uh, you got a few questions answered. Uh, got a little bit more of an insight. Uh, cheers, James. Um, and you're most welcome, Salt Arts. Uh, great to have everybody here. Nice one, Paul. Uh, cheers, appreciated. You know, support is always appreciated. And uh, you know, we'll do this again. I think I like this space, this corner here. There's not much else in the room. <laughs> I mean, space-wise, but this corner seems to work for me. Um, Great having you. Yes, great to see you. You know, see you on here, Farhan and Hassan. You know, uh, much love and respect to you and to everybody else. So, if you don't mind, I shall sign out. Peace. <laughs>